What's up guys, it is your boy Jay and welcome to the last lap of the sprint race. Yes, that's right, sprint. No qualifying, sprint. And we're here in ninth place. We've just gone to ninth place, which is not what I wanted to be. Come on, come on. Screw him, screw him off, screw him off, screw him off. Oh, we've lost it, we've lost it, we've lost it. Oh, come on, really? I'll see you guys for the race. That was stupid. That was stupid. What What was that? I can't defend myself now, game? We, we had that all up. I, I was literally 8 for race. But now it looks like we're going to be Superman all of a sudden and do it all from the first lap again. Thanks to... But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I've come back from worse. I've come back from worse in worse of cars. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we lost all of our momentum, basically. And we'll be starting this race from P21. guys 95% of you are not subscribed to the channel so please remember to like share and subscribe as it does help out the channel thank you very much before we begin let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position and starting next to them is George Russell looking down the rest of the grid we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Hamilton, Sainz, Norris, Ocon, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Albon, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Joe, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Sargent, De Vries, Ollie Caldwell, Magnussen, Ollie Caldwell. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the run down into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. The formation lap gets underway then, and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions can affect the lifespan of the tyres. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a lot of work to do. And if you're wondering why we last, I did take a bit of an engine hit, but lights out and away we go. Now on the medium tyres. Can't well get out the road. Cause I'm gonna zoom up. Hopefully that's that's fine, right? Oh it's fine. It's fine. We're good. P12. What an amazing leap of faith. Stroll, get out the road, get out the road. Come on. Oh! Hello for stopping. I barely even see you here. Hey, right, I'm pacing, I'm pacing, I'm pacing. Get in between the two. No, no, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep your spot, keep your spot. That's it, that's it. Alright, we seem to be in a really comfortable spot. And no, not the guy from the Spider-Man movies. Seven. Will do, ladies and gentlemen, we start this race in P8. P8. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I know we're fifth place. But that's because we haven't pitted yet, and I think we've only missed the first lot, so we're going in now. Because I don't like to stay behind when it comes to pits, so we're literally just going to go in now. That's the best place. Now. Now. Go in now. Good. So are we. So are we. See, judging by the looks of it, we picked the best time to pit. Everyone else that hasn't pitted is going in now. So I don't know where we're going to end up at the end of this. Come on, as long as it's good. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? No, that's stupid. That's stupid. Oh, but we still come out in a good position. Um, P12. 
Okay, so Cold War's going in now. Just don't bump me on the way in, please, mate. That would be lovely. All right, teammates in. All right, anyone else? Any? No one else? No one. So I lost place. I lost like two places. Great, great. And now we're fighting with Albon, who I don't think will take me over for that long since he's in a Williams. See, see, we haven't got the DRS. We haven't got the DRS, so now I'm going to use this time to just get as much time as I can. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the final lap of this Bel <laughs> Belgian Austrian Grand Prix. And so far, we're in 10th. So as long as we don't do anything stupid, we would have achieved our goal of getting two point finishes in a season for our major contact bonus. That's the reason why I'm fighting. Money. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. That's fine, we're on the last lap now, so I don't really genuinely see any problem. Okay, come on, here we go. This is nice. It's cool. It's collecting, it's forward. And I don't really see wrong with anything. George Russell wins the Austrian Grand Prix. I don't know what the point difference is now, but let me tell you what, it's, get, it's changing. I put a top every race, it feels like someone's changing the leadership. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished P10 in Austria. That is our second point finish of the season. Well, let's go. Let's go. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. We did it. We did it. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Sergio Perez takes the position of points leader in the Drivers' Championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to James. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. Meanwhile, good work from the owner drivers team this weekend who pushed themselves further up the order. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually got points. So I'm happy with the way that things are. Uh, can we get anything done on the R&D? Because that's going to be the most interesting thing that we have to do. Right, nothing else for now. Let's just move on with our life and see if we can get anything down. Okay, the, gur the, the gurney flap is in. Some simulation training in. That's in too. That's all in too. But then again, you know what? Going from last place down to 10th, really impressive feat from the car. I would say that was fantastic. Nothing failed. What do you mean, nothing failed? Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. 
Uh, high cash balance. Again, I, I know where I'm spending that money. Do you not even worry about where I'm going to be spending that money? I, I know where that money's going. And that's going all into the team next year. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much. We'll have the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Th thank you. This has been your boy Jay. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. Thank you.